All right, guys. Welcome to Dragon Works. I got a good one for you here. Last fall, I come in one morning, and this bike's just parked in front of the door here. Nobody's around. There's no note, no explanation, no nothing. And so I start calling around to my usual suspects, asking if someone bought another bike that needs work. No one uh, claimed a bike, and about that time, the owner showed up and explained to me that he lives right down the road, and the bike broke down. Uh, on a ride and somebody helped him push it here or whatever uh, he said it just shut off the lights were blinking and carrying on and it wouldn't restart or anything so uh, unfortunately at that time I couldn't get him right in but he only lived a block down the road so we were going to push it down to his house and I said well let me try it and of course turn the key on thing starts right up runs beautiful so anyway I wrote it down to his house and then uh, since then the poor gentleman is just, it never did start back up, and uh, he had trouble with the trailer and getting help and this or that. So anyway, here we are, and what you're about to see is a diagnostic video that I did yesterday. It's a little choppy and what have you, but um, yeah, check this out. So I started digging into it a little bit, and then I thought, well, this is a great time for a video because I've already found a couple interesting things here. Um, one is there is absolutely no gas in that tank. Now, he didn't tell me anything about uh, draining the gas. I know he's tried to start it many times since then um, because he was going to try to ride it up here and drop it off one night so it was here the next morning, and he's never been able to get it running. So I got a feeling that the gentleman ran out of gas. But I also noticed, and, and I think I know why this is, so I already threw a charge on the battery, it charged up, um, but I was looking at this negative terminal and that sucker's been melted. And you can see it's, like, it's kind of porous. Hold on, when you go close it's hard to hold it still. But if you look, you can see where it got really hot, but Anyway, you can see where it's melting. See this right there? And uh, what I believe that is, is it probably had kind of a sucky connection to begin with. And then he was cranking and cranking it, trying to get it started, but it was out of gas. And this is the result. What it'll do is whichever one doesn't have a good connection will be what gets hot. And it's usually the ground and I think that's what's going on. So after that, it was just potluck if you were going to get a connection here or not. And I think this may be all he's been dealing with. I don't know. This is just my educated guess at this point. But I thought, hey, let's find out. Let's go ahead, throw some gas in it, clean up that terminal, and see if this thing runs good or not. know that there's no gas it just don't sound like there is I I opened it to smell it and I'm shaking the crap out of it I don't hear any gas I guess 
First things first, turn the key on, see if any lights come on. Oh yeah, high beams on, all the lights are on, everything's fine. Let's choke it and go for it, huh? Ready? accelerator pump. I didn't see. Let's try that. I don't know if this car does or not. I had to look. I didn't even look at it. Let's try again. All right. Let's throw the charger on it real quick. Get it spinning. I had it charged up, but that definitely pulled it down. Let's get her spinning a little quicker. Stand by, I'll pause it. Alrighty. So yeah, it um, seems that battery is in pretty bad shape because that little bit uh, just about killed it. I got it on the charger. It's gonna take a while, it's really low. Um, but I did discover something interesting that I kind of slipped my mind on this model. It does have a fuel pump on it, which is, you know, it's kind of strange for something that could gravity feed right to the carburetor but I guess the way they got it designed, it has a fuel pump, and as you guys probably uh, realized or not, that it did not come on. I hear it kicking a little bit, so I'm not sure that it's pumping when I'm cranking it. I can smell gas, because something's also leaking somewhere. I can see where, see all this where gas had been dripping down. Um, maybe you can see it and I can smell it but anyway this uh, this might be part of our problem here uh, oh look it's leaking out of the petcock that's where the gas is coming from see that right there that screws wet the gasket around the screw looks like it's also leaking between the petcock and the tank right there kind of hard to see but you can trust me right I can smell gas real bad. Um, so that would explain why it's empty. Whoops. That would probably explain why the tank's empty if it's been sitting there dripping since last October. Um, let me see if I can get this. I'm going to try tapping on it a little bit, see if I can make sure this thing's running and make sure we're getting some fuel here. Let the battery charge up a second and uh, then we'll, we'll try it again. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I think I heard the fuel pump click a couple times. I don't know if it's working or not. I'm going to assume that it's working right now. And uh, also, I think that battery is shot. It charges up, but it doesn't hold the power very long, so it's on its way out, I do believe. But uh, let's try to crank it again, see what happens. We might have to dig into it further. Um, also, remember, it just sat 10 months with bad gas in it until I guess it all dripped out over there on that petcock. Um, both screws are leaking and the gasket between the tank and the petcock is also leaking. So he probably didn't run out of gas. I think it just leaked out while it sat there. So, so much for my idea. Let's see if it does anything. It's not spinning very fast, it's not putting down any power. I might have to swap in another battery here. And I'm gonna to have to check and see if we're even getting fuel. So, so much for my hypothesis. <laughs> it could still be correct, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this we, we don't have the right ingredients here right now to make something happen. Stand by some more. Okay guys, I pulled off the uh, cover there and did confirm that it is getting fuel. It does have a fuel pump. So I should be able to crack the throttle a couple times and then hit the starter and it should fire up. 
Um, I haven't checked spark yet because you have to pretty much remove the tank to even get to the spark plugs. So if it don't crank up, then that's our next thing. We're gonna have to figure out what's going on here. It's still not a full battery, and that could be what's killing us, but uh, I got some more charge in it while I was doing that other stuff. Let's just give it another shot. And like I say, I don't know if we've got it flooded. It don't appear to be. I think it's just now starting to get fuel, but yep, there's a squirt. Let's try a couple squirts. Choke it again, and let's go for it. Yeah, it's not as bad as that enough. Come on, man. All right, guys. So, yeah, that battery sucks. <laughs> it's not spinning that motor quick enough. And I need to check for spark, so the saga continues. Yeah, so here's the first two plugs I pulled out. <laughs> Might be, uh, sorry here. Might be one of the reasons why it's not wanting to fire up, because they are fouled out. I'm going to clean these up, get a good battery in it. Let's try it again. Okay, got the plugs cleaned up. I do have spark. Um, I guess my original theory probably was wrong. I guess he didn't run out of gas. Maybe it leaked out. Um, I don't know. Maybe he did run out of gas. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, we got spark. Uh, I know we got fuel, and I got a battery in there out of another bike that says it's fully charged up now. So let's see what, we're, what we got here. Um, we're still in the diagnostic stage, <laughs> but uh, let's see what happens. I don't know where that bubble just came from. All right, let's give her another shot, shall we? Come on, baby, bring the thunder. <laughs> oh yeah, now the pump's kicking. Okay, now the pump's running. So it could have been that battery. This thing ought to start right up. I guess I'm not going to do any more fuel because I squirted a bunch in there. I will choke it just for a second, see what happens. I think she's going to go. I think it was a battery. Let me pause it a second, let it warm up. It seemed like it started running a little bit rougher. I'm not sure. I'm going to check and see if the thing's charging.
right, let me. Hold on. Okay, guys, uh, I believe that, uh, I believe it's not charging, and that's probably what happened. I'm trying to get this thing to set where you can see it, but it's not cooperating. Um, I just had it running with the, with the, Okay, guys, um, I'm under the suspicion now that the thing isn't charging properly. That's probably what killed his battery. That's probably what ate up that terminal. Um, it may have been overcharged. It may be the stator's going out or something. That's what we're going to find out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it back up, and we'll see. If we rev it up, it should go up. It should The voltage should go up, and uh, it wasn't before. Uh-oh. Now we lost it again. Same problem he had before. There is some funky stuff going on for sure. Yep. This is the same problem he came up with. So we got 13 volts there. I did have 1330 when I started. But here I just turned the key on. And we got nothing. Let's try any kind of terminals. Everything's tight. Good connection, still nothing. Ay ay ay. Okay, yeah, we we definitely got some electrical problems. So I was going to start it back up and show you that it's not charging, but now it's not doing anything. Just wiggle the switch here, the ignition. Nothing. Still nothing. No lights, no nothing. All right, guys. Oh my, so the saga continues. Stand by, let's see what we find out now. Hey, it did start and run, but then it did exactly what he said. All right, guys, so I started wiggling some wires and whatnot, and I was wiggling around right here, and everything came back on up there. So let me check all my connections and everything, and then we'll get back to it and see if it'll charge up. Stand by. Okay, guys, um, just took off the connections down there to start a relay, cleaned them. They weren't really dirty. I think this little clip somebody had twisted it too far it's a lead coming off of the terminal and going into the fuse box but anyway all i want to do right now is see if i can show you if the thing is charging now that i did that or not uh, let's see we got all of our lights back on there we go there we go. That's what we want to see. All right. Cool. Okay, so it looks like. <laughs> now, I don't know for sure because this thing has been awful quirky. Um, let me do this. Let's start it back up and wiggle the wires and see if we lose anything. Um, and then I'll show you what, what all I found there. All right, let's see what happens. So, what it looks like, so far so good. Um, it was not, when I tested it earlier before the phone rang and I was getting ready to show you guys. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. 
now that I know what's going on. Okay, so I'll flash up a picture here too, but uh, this, is, this is a starter relay, and this is your lead coming off of the battery right here. Just goes right down here, boom, there it is. But what they also do from that point is then you tie into your main fuse and then your main um, harness and everything that goes up to your ignition. Well, if you look back here, you see that little brass piece that's kind of bent up? So I was a little bit worried about that. Let me see if I can point to it without electrocuting everything. Um, right there. See that piece? So what that is is uh, that's basically it's like a terminal. It's a piece of brass coming off and going into this fuse block. And that was on top of this battery terminal right here. And I think somebody had tightened it and twisted it all up. So I don't know if it just had a bad connection at the terminal or if there might be something where it pulled out down here. Uh, anyway, sorry about jumping around there. I'm going to have to dig into that a little bit more, but as of right now, it looks like we got it. It looks like it was just a, uh, a loose connection, actually, because I was able to move this a little bit. This right here, I was able to slide it, and it actually turned a little bit. So I believe that's all it was, probably the whole time. So, yeah, we went through a bunch of different scenarios here today. Um, I When I found the tank empty, like you, you know, heard me say in the beginning of the thing, I swore that, uh, the guy ran out of gas and then cranked it down so bad, killed the battery. I got a borrowed battery in here now. His battery is no good because uh, I guess that maybe even that connection caused it, uh, you know, didn't have a very good connection. So the poor battery was working itself to death and not getting charged up right. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. And sure enough, uh, that'll kill him. And then it sat here all these months and what have you it does charge up but as you saw it just don't have the power to do anything i might try it again now that i got this solved but uh, i i you know with that thing with that terminal looking like it does i think it's best to replace it but anyway that's going to be it for now i'm going to do some more testing and <laughs> wow yeah so you know like i say sometimes sometimes it's good to show the crazy stuff i go through to figure this stuff out. It's good that you guys can see it. This is gonna be a long ass video. All right guys, that's it for now. Let's see where we go from here. Well, so much for ending it there. <laughs> because I started it up and I rev and I was revving it up to see what it sounded like. And then everything was flickering and cutting out again. So let's see if I can demonstrate that. All right, it's all coming on. Let's see if it'll do it for me again. Oh, there you go. Oh, all I'm doing is hitting the starter button. Yeah, it's making all kinds of noises. See? And I hear something in here. I hear some relays in here clicking and carrying on. So that ain't it, guys. Uh, Going to have to dig into her a little more. It sounds like, she, or it looks like she's got some uh, some serious electrical gremlins going on here. It could still all be right here. Um, and that would be simple. It could just replace that starter solenoid and all that stuff. So, anyway, it ain't over till it's over, baby. Peace out.